Miss Laura from Madison Public Library. I'm the new youth services librarian here. I just started a couple weeks ago and I'm already loving it. And for today, I wanted to share with you an apple basket counting craft. And for everyone who registered for this program, you'll have craft kits and they'll include this instruction sheet but anyone who views the video can do the craft as they just need to get their own supplies and everything. So in your kit, you'll have a paper plate with hole punches in it. That's the bottom of the basket. You'll have a half circle drawn onto it. And then you'll have some pieces of green, red, and yellow paper along with little piece of brown and you'll also have some brown paint in the kit also and then what you need from home will be a paintbrush scissors some glue any glue stick or elmer's glue or anything will work and a pencil and then i have a napkin set down so i can paint the plate and this is what our crafts will look like when they're done. And it's great for counting practice for little ones and you can make as many apples as you want to fit in it. The kit will only have enough for about three apples. Oh, and of course there will be some yarn included in the kit. Okay, so the first step is to cut out the half circle on the plate and that might be a little tricky and you should have a parent nearby or they should be helping you with this um, so you just want to take your scissors and puncture a hole through the center of it and it's like that it doesn't have to be anything fancy it doesn't matter if it bends the plate a little bit and then you're just going to cut the half circle out so I'm just going up with the scissors and then I'm just going to cut around the outline I have drawn on here. So once you have the basket handle cut out, it should look something like this. And now the next step is to go ahead and paint our plate. So you can just cover the whole surface in paint so I'll just put some paint down and then I'm just going to go ahead and paint the plate. So I will finish painting this and then I'll be right back. So I just finished painting the plate and I just did one coat of paint. It's up to you of whether or not you want to do two coats to make it a little darker. And it looks like this. So now's the time to set it aside for it to dry. And in the meantime, we can go ahead and create our apples. And in the kits, I also included a little apple template to help you in case it's too difficult to sketch out an apple yourself. It'll just make the process a little easier and faster. But I'm just going to go ahead and freehand them now. And now I'm just going to cut it out. And this is how it came out. You can go ahead and create whatever apple shapes that you want. And then you're going to have to cut out three leaves out of the green paper. And then with the brown paper, you're going to be creating a little stem. So you'll do three stems out of the brown paper trace it on and now for each apple you're just going to attach the stem on the top along with the leaf and you can arrange it any way you want you can draw a little leaf pattern on there that's what I did with mine so I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these on and it'll look something like this and then you just go ahead and do that whole process with the other two colors of paper in the green and red. And when you're done, they will all look like this. And you can make as many as you want if as long as you have construction paper at home. 
And now we are on to our last step, which will end up taking you the longest, and that is to put together the basket. We're gonna be weaving a basket here with some yarn, and it does get tricky, but it's just a matter of going like crisscross with the yarn and getting it through all of the holes here. And then it, I tried, it didn't come out perfect, but I tried to do some crisscrosses over top to make it look more basket-like. But you can experiment and try out different techniques and just the goal here is to make sure that our apples stick in the basket and stay there if we weave it through the yarn. So we want to make sure it stays there and doesn't fall out. So really it doesn't matter how it looks as long as it holds the apples. So now that the plate has dried completely, it's time to take our yarn and then you can choose one side to start it on. It doesn't really matter which one, just one on the left and then you string it through the first hole. And then you're gonna tie a couple of knots over here to secure it in place. And just tighten it up. And now it's just a matter of stringing it through each hole. Across, you can just go across if you want until all of them are done. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and weave the yarn through all this, the holes or as far as I can go because when you get down here, it does get a little bit tricky. So I will just get down close to the bottom and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished weaving my yarn through each of the holes and I got down close to the bottom and this is what it looks like. So if we look at both of the ones I made, this was the first one and I decided to try to make some crisscrosses here to make it look like a more realistic basket but really that's not that's not that necessary because it will hold the apples perfectly fine like this so you can experiment if you want oh we've got a kitten on the table here her name is Lyra so I'm actually just going to go ahead and tie it off here at this hole and you really can, if you have other yarn at home, or if you still have enough yarn left, then you can go ahead and try to make some crisscrosses here. Okay, so I tied it off here, and I'm going to just go ahead and cut it. Oh. And no matter what, you're going, it actually is going to curve in on either side of the plate, but that's okay. So now you can add your apples in here. So you can go ahead and arrange them however you want. And so that's our apple basket counting craft. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to meeting you in the next couple of months. And like I said earlier, my name is Miss Laura and I'm the youth services librarian here at Madison Public Library. And I'll be doing a bunch more programs like this in the upcoming weeks and so there's more fun activities in store for you and you'll be able to check our newsletter through email or take a look at our monthly calendar that will be coming out in a couple weeks and thank you for joining me and I hope you had fun making this. Bye!